Dear viewers, today I am going to capping on the cylinder bottom and top cylinder compressive strain test. Before compressive strain test, we are doing the capping to make the flat surface top and bottom. So this is the sulfur and uh, this is the heater. We put the sulfur inside of the heater. <sighs> this is the sulfur is now heating then it will make a liquid after make liquid then we will capping on the cylinder <coughs> top surface and bottom surface to make the flat sometimes in the cylinder top surface is not the flat so compressive strain test result is very due to the full flat leggings so to make the flat the top surface and bottom surface we are doing the sulfur capping this sulfur capping grade is the c uh, 50 and the cylinder uh, this is for our c c10 this is the capping uh, capping device and we will uh, put the sulfur here then we will uh, keep the cylinder cylinder like this uh, here have the roller to make it vertical perfectly <coughs> we will do later then see this already we have make the capping before also the compressive test has been done on this so this surface is very flat perfectly uh, it will take uh, several time like 15 minutes to become liquid it's uh, burning now so we just some liquid it will full liquid all the sulfur will be liquid like this so we will waiting up to become full liquid Before uh, compressive strain test, we are uh, taking the measurement of the uh, cylinder for unit weight calculation. It's uh, going to liquid. Heating is ongoing. Uh, this is our cube curing. So all the cube and cylinders are put here for curing 7 days and 28 days compressive stain test Here is our compressive stain test machine and we are doing compressive stain test by this machine Lock. test is conducted here is the result according to this result we calculate the strength this become almost liquid the sulfur some is remaining still and this is our uh, lab if anybody interested to know any specific concrete uh, materials uh, uh, test and want to see the tutorial how to do this kind of test so also can comment in my comment box then i will try to uh, make a tutorial for making the test 
there have the oven and I have the cylinders and others here have the seats here we bring the lube oil to just uh, keep some lube oil here so it will be detached the sulfur and this metal after complete the sulfur uh, uh, capping then when we will bring out to here then the copper will not be fixed with the metal that's why we are giving some lube oil we are cleaning the capping device and giving the uh, some some lube oil Many few lube oil, not big amount, a little bit lube oil we just use this. It look like not giving anything. The cleaning the bottom surface and top surface the dust cleaning that's it will be adjust with the sulfur very goodly in this three cylinder we will capping now so it's uh, before capping the surface is like this this before capping so we will do capping right now our sulfur is become perfect liquid yes so we start the work this sulfur we will put in that we ready so we are now start to capping by the spoon we just take it to the capping device and fill up to the certain level then put the cylinder put the cylinder perfectly and this this device will be vertical with the this this two roller for make the vertical so this bottom the sulfur is becoming hard very quick time very few few seconds it's becoming hard the sulfur will be in the grade the C, C50 and it's done and it's done capping is done the on side is done within a few, few minutes it will be become more hard it's done one side is done and repeatedly we are doing the same things for each each cylinder so we need carefully keep put this one so need uh, one one thing sure it has been ported uh, vertically perfectly with this one and keep tightly with the hand to become the vertical with this leader so these things will be continue for each one for top and the bottom already we have made one perfectly this one is top capping done this one is bottom capping done so this will be repeatedly done for each cylinder to do the capping okay. work so i think everybody is has been uh, gathered this knowledge how do the capping before compressive piston test to get a flat surface on the top and bottom of the cylinder
before comprehensive strain test. This one already also one side done.